In chapter 17 of The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, a man in a nearby house calls the dogs off and Huck introduces himself as George Jackson. The man acts kindly once he confirms Huck is not a shepherd son. The family, the Grangerfords, offer him clothes, food, and lodging, and to stay as long as he wants. Huck makes up a story about his background. Now the Grangerford family has a big house that Huck admires. Buck, the son who's around Huck's age, hangs out. Emmeline, the daughter, passed away at a young age. Her artwork and poetry is hung up all over the house. Huck finds out that prior to her death, when someone passed away, she would arrive on the scene even before the undertaker and read her poetic eulogies. The Grangerford family treats Huck well because he was not a member of the Shepherdson family. If he was a Shepherdson, he would have been killed right there. Emmeline's obsession with death is odd. Her poetic eulogies take precedence over an undertaker's care for the dead, and that's morbidly comical. Emmeline represents the South's importance of honor. In her view, honor comes with death. This is evident by the artwork that is hung in her honor after she dies. 